Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and welcome back to the game where we force adorable animals to fight to the death. We're back out in Super Auto Pets, baby, and a new expansion pack has come out. A massive one at that. Not only that, we now have weekly packs in the game where everybody can use this pack, I believe. I'm not really sure much about it, uh, but yeah, basically these packs have all the animals, even if you haven't bought the DLC in them, and uh, yeah, you can just chest out the pets if you can't afford the expansion packs. So I definitely do want to buy expansion pack two later on, but uh, I thought we'd start off with the weekly pack. I haven't looked at any of the new mechanics in this game. We're probably going to get destroyed for the first run here, but I'm super excited to get back out and check out some of these new units like the frilled dragon. Start of the battle, gain plus one plus one per friend with a faint ability. Um, well, I don't think too many tier ones have faints, so I think, oh my God, there's a peach. You have a pet plus two health. Oh my god, there's so much to take in. What is that? It looks like a piece of cheese. Give frontmost friend plus three attack. Yes, please. That sounds good. And you know what, Mr. Cockroach? We'll put you on the field too. These are both brand new. Uh, that will set attack to two. Great tier one card. A two four. And we'll throw the OG cricket in the back and hopefully we can win this first round. All right, we're going to be the discombobulated tea bags. All right, here we go. That's going to be a lucky name. First run, 10 wins. I'm doing it. Just kidding. We're probably going to gonna get destroyed okay well i'm not too worried about a bunch of crickets i think we got this first one in the well no no this is gonna be a tie oh my god math is hard okay i did not expect that all right we're just gonna make a beefy cockroach that sounds pretty fun we'll throw the cricket out so we can uh, upgrade that guy later on and there we go is that gonna be that's gonna be like an eight six isn't it fear thy cockroach with poop on head um, yes, it will be. Holy crap, an 8-6 on tier 2? I don't know if that's powerful anymore. I don't know how strong some of the new creatures are. We, we lost. We, we, we actually... Okay. I, I lost with an 8-6 cockroach on tier 2. What's up with all these faint cards? So, start of battle, copy faint ability as level 1 from highest tier enemy. Uh, actually, for the first thing, I'm going to get a level 2 moth so I can get a level 3. Oh, I don't, I don't know if I like that. I don't know how many of these guys have cell abilities, but he, all he does is get plus one, plus one for anybody with a cell ability. If I built a deck around that, that would be good, though. I think I'm going to say goodbye to Mr. Starfish. And we got the OGs. Oh, I don't, I don't want really any of these. I think, you know what? I'm just going to roll and look for something decent here. Interesting. End turn deal one damage to itself and gain one attack. So that's going to be a 4-4. Four, four. Um, that being said, I don't think he gets his health back. So this is a good character. You know what? I'm going to freeze that. I want to see if we can find anything better. But that'll be a good character for like one round and then you can sell it. Because obviously you don't want to keep that for too long. Um, wow. Plus three and negative one. You know what? If start of turn we set attack to two. Let's see what happens here. I'm going to throw that. Oh, crap. I forgot. I, I should have put an animal out. <laughs> I'm so focused on my stupid cockroach. All right. I'm going to unfreeze this guy. I got to assume we can find something better than a yak. Stop coming to me, yak. I don't want you. I want more tier twos. Um, You know what? We're going to keep doing this because every time we restart the round, he gets his attack back. This is this is fantastic. I really got to find somebody. What does the toad do? Swap stats of two adjacent friends? No. You know what? We're just... We are doing the beefy cockroach round. I don't know why, but it... Oh my god. Okay, yes. We're going to be able to get a tier 3 moth soon here. And that's probably pretty good. But now we have a 7-12. Sorry, a 10-12. Uh, good trades there. Ooh, this is going to hurt, but that's okay. Look at that. We are coming back. Not knowing what I'm doing with these characters. This feels pretty... Well, I shouldn't say this feels pretty good. That was our first victory. Let's relax. So, I'm just going to keep broccoliing this uh, cockroach. I really wish I could upgrade this guy, but this is fantastic. Um, Give a pet a cucumber game. Plus one health at the end of turn. Yeah, you know what? Ooh. I think I'm going to cucumber this guy so he slowly gains even more health. <laughs> Why not? All right. 10, 16. Oh, that is a dangerous ox. Well, I didn't expect to last very long with my cockroach strategy, and I'm going to have to start putting some food on these guys. I mean, we did put a, a cucumber on this guy, but that's not enough. All right, time for tier three, though. What the hell does the moose do? Okay, we got a fox and a moose. Interesting. End turn, steal a random shop food. 
Uh, there's a lot of strategy with that. Uh, give plus one and plus one to one pet of each level. Ooh, if I had a level two, that would be worth it. We got to get rid of these freaking crickets too. Interesting. So it took me a while to understand this moose one, but we get plus one, plus one to one pets. Not plural. Well, it is plural, but it's it's one pet. So I'm assuming when we upgrade this moose, it does two pets. Behind, you multiply that buff with the lowest pet tier in the shop. So if we have, for example, the lowest tier of a four, it would be a plus four, plus four. That's actually really freaking good. So we'll throw the moose out. And being that it's behind, we're going to want to put the moose at the back with the cockroach as the last line of defense. Because I'm just boosting the hell out of this guy still for some reason. And the other thing I'm going to do, I want to steal food. So we're going to use this fox to hopefully steal uh, some decent food. Pears are okay, but I want to go for something that will actually upgrade me. Give a pet grapes. What is it? Plus one gold at the start of every turn. And a fortune cookie? These, I've never seen these. Oh, that screwed up my moth, though. Because my moth gives plus nine attack to the cockroach. Um, I didn't think about that. Crap. All right, well, the moose is crap this round anyways because we have tier ones in it. There's a lot of strategy with the moose. I don't think it's very useful all the time. So I'm just going to throw the moose on the moth, I believe. That should be the best, and he'll be a little more buffed. Also, what's the lynx do? Deal one damage to an, a random enemy equal to the sum of all friendly levels. That's actually a lot of damage. Um, I haven't really been leveling up my characters, but that's a really good card too. I might even keep that even with my tier ones. Fortune cookie, 50% chance to, to double damage. We will keep that for next round, assuming we survive for long enough. <laughs> and I got the grapes. I got the grapes on the fox. Oh, that's, this is so weird. I love these new units. What the hell? Oh, there we go. Okay, I was wondering why my cockroach didn't get the attack, but he did. Oh my god. What a deadly tier one I made. We should probably try and upgrade that cockroach soon, though. So we're going to do that. I'm also going to throw fortune cookie on my level three moth. Seven damage to the opposite enemy? Why does why do these sound so good? All right, screw you, Cricket. We are throwing the eagle out. And I think I'm going to... Oh, I hate doing this because the moose is nice, but I'm going to get rid of the moose. And I'm going to get the lynx so we can deal some extra damage so we have some artillery support. Um, Now I just... I, as, I, as I said before, I really got to focus on food. Oh, no. We, we, we have the plague. Crap. Um, That could change things. I'm not worried. I'm not that that screwed him up more than me. <laughs> How is this working out? How is a tier one I'm stacking actually doing okay? Buy and sell, give a random friend plus two plus two. Okay, well that that would be stupid to uh not use. The problem is I don't really want to get rid of any of these guys. All right, I think I'm going to do the eagle because I'm technically doing seven damage right now with the levels and that can only get better. Uh, plus he's got a little bit more damage, so that would be the best trade. And Zebra, okay, you upgraded that guy, that's fine. We're gonna sell you now, and... What? Wait, that's the one I didn't want. I, I was gonna get rid of that guy sooner or later. I think we're going to sell the fox, uh, because we got this tiger. The friend ahead repeats their ability in battle as if they were level one. One of the best abilities is this one level tier six pet. So we're going to put that guy there and then we're going to spawn out two tier sixes, which could be really good. What the hell's the hamster? Do? I didn't read that. Game one gold works two times per turn. <laughs> There's so many weird units now. All right. So this, I don't know if this is a good strategy or not, but I feel like it's good. We'll freeze that and onward. Oh, that's a 50 B. He doesn't have much health though. Oh, man. Okay, come on. I don't know what that was. Didn't help too much, though. Come on. Why? Oh, damn it. All right. Well, there goes my run. You know what? Considering I didn't know what the hell I was doing, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with four wins. I mean, all we did was boost the cockroach. Well, this run's either going to go really well or really badly. Um... It's deja vu all over, except I have gotten the dream loot here, as you can see. So we'll see what happens. Oh, so far, so good. <laughs> I feel like this, this combo of these two units is a little overpowered, and I'm not complaining with that. All right, what are we going to get? Oh, my God. I hate the starfish with a passion. Oh, it's getting even better. I just got the hatchling chick. Uh, plus five, plus five. 
All right. Well, I guess we'll throw the cockroach on that. There we go. Uh, let's see if we get any lucky drops. Oh, what, what happens when we make these guys together? Is it plus six? I hope it's plus six. I actually don't remember. It is plus six. Okay, so I didn't waste uh, any of the attack on the cockroach. I'll put the garlic armor on the cockroach as well. And give me... Oh, crap. Um, all right. Well, I got to put something down. Well, yeah, I think the crab makes the most sense right now. Copy 50% of the health of the most healthy friend. That should still be a very good card. And it's a 1021 already. Oh, man. Wait for it. How big does it get, though? Oh, crap. It pushed my... Uh... That's okay. It pushed the crab ahead, but still not too worried. <laughs> why, why is the cockroach so good? Oh, my God. The dream. Look at this, too. Yes. Eat up, buttercup. There you go. Oh my god, another one? All right, you know what? We're just gonna drop his his attack all the way down. It doesn't matter. I'm all about the health. 6.30 round six. <laughs> oh, the thing is with, a, with a, a build like this, if that cockroach gets dead to anything, I'm screwed. But it's fun. I don't care. And it's working out clearly very well. What, what is going on here? What what the hell is going on here? Okay, well, we're just gonna not change anything. Keep going. We'll keep going down this path. I'm getting so much broccoli. <laughs> oh, look at that. Another beefy boy cockroach. Everybody is doing this build. Thank God I survived that. Okay, mine's more beefy than yours. That's all that matters right now because everybody's just, just running cockroach. I unintentionally built the meta like the first game I played. All right, and goodbye, crab. Let's get the links back. I feel like I actually did the right strategy the first time. This is this is great. Uh, we'll keep the cow for next run. Well, here we go again. Goodbye, everybody. Oh, oh, that hurt. What the hell was that? God, I haven't seen that guy in so long. Oh, this is. <laughs> what are we at? Six wins. <laughs> this. I don't think this will make it. I mean, we're going to get some really hard opponents now, but it's going to be close. All right, so we'll combine the moss together. We got to start looking for something besides the cockroach. So, cow, give moo moo milk to this guy. He's almost maxed anyway, so we don't even really need the chick anymore. Mind you, that's how we're getting at least a little bit of damage out of him. I think I'm just going to throw down artillery lynxes until I get a level two. That seems like a good idea. And we'll throw down more health for this guy. Again, same strategy. This is all I'm seeing is this build. This is so weird. Well, that's why I need the lemon armor, man. Uh, I think we still got it anyways. Yes, thank you, Lynxes. Ooh, white tiger. Make one friend behind level three except other white tigers. It's such a weak unit, though. But if I had a really good tier three, that would make sense. Um, I don't, the only thing would be the moth, but that's almost tier three. So I don't think it's worth the spot as crazy as that sounds. We'll put the lemon armor on this guy though. Give two random pets or three random pets two health. Ooh, that's really good. I, th oh, I'm going to freeze it though. I want to see if we can find a better unit. I think I might actually do the skunk here. Uh, being that we've seen so many cockroach builds, this would be really helpful. Um, and we can just combine a links together and we'll throw down... A more powerful skunk. I don't know if that was a good idea or not. Having the two lynxes was really nice. Oh, well, let's see what happens. Uh, we we got to get this guy some, some more damage now. But that's the downside of this stupid cockroach is he doesn't do much damage. Uh, interesting. He's not really going a cockroach build, but he kind of is. Is it enough to take me out? Don't think so, bucko. There. <laughs> I can't believe this is like my third run. This is so great. I'm so happy with this. All right, so I'm finally going to get rid of the chick. I'm going to put down the crow, which will give me when I sell it. Um, oh, God, it gets rid of both. That's annoying. But this will allow me to either upgrade the lynx or the skunk. I think I'm actually going to do the skunk in this regard. And that will drop it by 66, which is huge. Ooh, leopard. Ooh, now I have... There's three good cards to choose from here. Lionfish sounds really fun. It makes the enemy or the um, before friend attack makes the enemy target weak. I don't know how. I don't really know what weak does. I think it's like the um, the plague or the um, disease. So essentially, I would one hit something, but it only has one trigger. We can summon a random tier one. 
which I mean tier ones usually aren't good and deal 50% attack damage to a random enemy mind you that's not really that great I think I'm gonna go lionfish just out of morbid curiosity if we screw up who cares this is fun I made it to eight rounds um I'm happy with that of course no, I didn't even know melon armor was in this pack god damn it I get one now okay let's see what this weakness does I'm really curious about this fish ah oh, man turtle in the front first time I've seen turtle in the front all right, well, he's dead. Oh, my God. Everything's everything's going crazy. Yes! Oh, that killed me, though. That was a really strong dog. I haven't seen dog strategies in a long time. Uh, much better build than mine, that's for sure. All right, so I'm going to throw melon armor on Lynx. Hopefully, we can upgrade that Lynx. We should have done that a long time ago. Um, now I'm getting all the melon armor. Are you serious? I don't really have anything that would benefit from melon armor. Oh, come on. I'd be so happy with nine wins. Even if we lose this one, we have one more chance. But yeah, the cockroach is just getting overbuilt now. Look at this. Look at what the hell is going on. What? Ah, he plagued me. He plagued my big boy. Mind you, I'm still, I'm still doing okay. Oh my God. Am I going to get 10 wins? Am I going to get 10 wins with this stupid cockroach build? Oh, even with nine, I'm so happy. Oh God. What do I do though? I don't even know how to improve this. If he did more damage, it'd be so nice, but... I mean, you're not really supposed to have a tier one pet this late in the game. It just, it seems like this guy's so overpowered. What the hell are peanuts? G give one random friend peanuts. Hold on. Can I see? What, 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 what peanuts? Peanuts, peanuts. Oh, I know what peanuts are. It's the scorpion. Holy crap, that's good. Um, I definitely want that because it will knock out anything. I think we're going to uh, get rid of the fish then and put the walrus in. <laughs> That could definitely change this. I'm going to put the walrus behind the lynx because I don't want to give him peanuts. He's already got melon armor. These guys got nothing. So essentially peanuts on them would be amazing. That's essentially a guaranteed kill, assuming I don't fight melon armor. Um, okay, that is what I needed. I think at this point, uh, we can't really change much anymore. So we're just going to have to start boosting our guys as much as we possibly can. This is great. I still have a chance to lose too. So even if this isn't a win... We have one more chance. Ooh, that is a scary seahorse. Very scary seahorse. I don't know what's going on. Okay, seahorse no is no longer scary. Mind you, we got melon armor. I need peanuts. I need peanuts. Peanuts! Damn it! Oh, I, if I would have survived that, I would have got 10 wins. I mean, I can't complain with a draw, but Jesus. The talk about unlucky. <laughs> Have some melon armor, Mr. Walrus. Actually, we should be looking for the upgrade. Yes, dude, this game wants me to win. Is it two peanuts? Yes. So that means we have food on everybody, essentially. And the final two are perma kills, assuming they don't die at the start of the round due to artillery. Um, This is turning into a really good build. I got really lucky with my drops, though. I'm not going to lie. I just don't have much damage output right now, so... Uh, I mean, we can hope for the best. We still have a chance to lose one round at least. I would like to win right now, though. That would be great. Uh, scary moose. Pretty scary cockroach. Man, oh, damn. That I got destroyed. I didn't realize. Who hit me so hard? The skunk. That's who. You freaking skunk bastard. Uh, I have two peanuts, but I need... Well, I got destroyed that round. I forgot about the melon armor, too. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, we got one more chance, man. I'm going to pray we find one walrus on this flip. If we do, I am so freaking lucky. Aww. Oh, oh, I didn't see him. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, dude. What the hell are these drops? So now three. Okay. Um, If this doesn't work, I don't know what to tell you. I have three perma kills. Mind you, so many people are using melon armor this late in the game, so... Peanuts are not that good. Late game, but it's my best chance at winning here. Okay, please. 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 It's been a cliffhanger for like three rounds. I... Okay, okay. Hey, not bad. Not bad. I'm not... I'm not scared. I'm not scared. I think... I think... I think... I think I got it. I don't... Unless there's something secret. Okay, what the hell? How did that horse pop out? I don't know what's going on anymore. Kill... Kill. Oh, no. Why? How do... What is that? What is that thing? Oh, my God. How did I fail so much at the end? Well, ladies and gentlemen, considering I went into this knowing nothing about any of these powers, I'm really happy with a turn 16-9 win. Would have loved the 10 wins, obviously, but hey, 
Uh, I have a little bit of a, of practicing to do. There are so many new units and so many new things to uh, figure out. I don't even know what's going on in half of these fights, and that's what makes this game so fun once again. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed checking out this episode of Super Auto Pets. If you do want to see more, we'll definitely buy that new expansion pack and uh, actually try and do some card builds. I really like these weekly packs, though. It makes it a lot more fair because I think everybody's using the same pack. And, uh, yeah, it's very fun to see what kind of shenanigans you can get into. Now, the pack changes every week as well. So, yeah, if you guys like this, maybe we'll keep it uh, consistent on the channel. It depends on if it's fun to watch or not but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed super auto pets once again thanks so much for watching and liking i'll see you in the next one